We're on a lovely walk. It's the first day we've been able to go on a nice walk with the sun without jackets and scarves and hats in months mm -hmm. since fall. So we're I going on our first walk. It's started. Yeah. We try to go on walks like at least twice a week during the spring and summer. So it started. This is our, this is our fitness. This is our light exercise. <laughs> I try to get 10,000 steps. Where's the frogs? They're all in there. What is, what is that noise? It's so loud. <gasps> Lizzie says that it's toad mating season. That's what that noise is. Don't throw something. Well, just so you can see that they're in there. Oh. Okay, let me get a pebble. No, what if you hit one of them in the head and they get a concussion? They can have a family. <gasps> that did nothing. Oh, oh, I see a little frog. It's like me when I swim. <laughs> that one looks like me when I swim. You can see it right. So they're they're having. That's why they're doing that noise? Yeah. Oh. They want to mate. They're getting the freak on. I'm gonna look now, I'm nervous. Oh my god, I can see that. That's f oh, holy crazy. Let's go to the movies. I feel like I'm wearing 3D glasses. Well, that's a movie. I'm nervous, I can't. Oh, all right, here we go. Here goes nothing. Oh my god. Hopefully you guys got to see that too. Okay, this is my OOTD. Solar Eclipse OOTD. Gave some people some glasses, so very sweet. All right, let's see it. Oh, there it is. It's an orange Christmas moon. It's getting slimmer and slimmer. You know, I feel like I'm in Coraline right now. Mm-hmm. So how long? It, is it going to get thinner and thinner? Yes. Until what? Until, like, it literally oh. looks like it's dusk outside. We're very lucky because we're in the path of totality idea what that means. That means we're one of the very lucky few that gets to see it when the moon is fully over the sun or the sun is over the moon. So we're lucky. That's why it's such a big deal. I'm excited. Yeah. Just waiting. It's 325 so it's supposed to peak in our area around like 328, 331. So we're waiting and apparently it's supposed to get dark. It's starting to get dark. Alright, I'm just gonna keep these on. Oh my god, it's really tiny now. I have an extra pair of glasses. Oh, thank you, I was just telling her, ask someone to borrow them. <laughs> Before when I was growing up, it's pretty intense. Yeah. I just talked to Dunkin' Donuts to get coffee, and this kid said, Well, I don't need them, I don't mind if I go blind. I said, Oh, you do it. No. Aw, Lizzie, you know, I made someone stick. I'm gonna cry right now. <laughs> Waiting. I think that was it. So I got. Does it look good? Let's 
good one. Okay, so I got strawberry bunny. Strawberry oh. bunny shortcake. Mmm. Got black cherry. Mmm. I love cherry. I got lavender vanilla, which I came for this one. Oh, so good. Mm-hmm. And then I got cashmere. Oh, oh my god, amazing. Some lovely warm summer scents. Lizzie got some waxies and a baby candle. It smells so good. <laughs> okay, so we just came out of Arrow. I'm gonna do a quick haul. First, oh wait, what? First I got these sunglasses. Little Queen Girl Hailey Bieber sunglasses. Cute. And then I got a set. So I got like some comfy shorts, comfy black like crop top. This is actually crop tie like and I've been looking for these forever. So I got that. That's my haul and okay. I'm gonna change into this right now. When I get new clothes, I have to change into it like directly after I leave the store. So suddenly, like the outfit I'm wearing is like hideous, and I need to wear my new clothes. me in the set and the sunglasses mm -hmm. she's got a pair of scrub pants okay I'm in my new set and new glasses this set my legs are so hairy but if my legs were shaved I don't know what shoes I'd wear with this like I don't know what would look good with a set like this fur boots obviously would serve because fur boots serve with everything but like, I don't know what kind of sock. And also, I want to wear this in the summer, too. This is like a fall, spring. This is like a cute outfit for this season right now. So, let me know what shoes you would style this with. Like, would I wear, like, my Ugg slides with ankle socks? Or just, because I can't do feet out. I can't do feet out. So, probably with, like, little ankle socks. Yeah, that'd be cute. Glasses. These sunglasses give, like, clean girl vibe, but I feel like I can make them work in, like, a 90s vibe. Anyway, just waiting in my cute little outfit. Alright, so now it's time to pick which candle I'm going to use. We're both candle hoarders, so I went through all the candles that we have in the house and burned them all down. This was probably like a three month long process. Mm -hmm. And then I, my treat at the end was I was going to candle shopping and I was going to get candles. I like to get candles by the season, so I tried to get like summer scents or like clean scents. And I've wanted this candle forever. Like, I've always wanted this candle. I have a baby version of this candle and it's amazing, so I had to get the full size. And this was, all of it was on sale because you know they're very expensive. So now it's time to pick. You know, I think I have to do the strawberry one because it's Easter Bunny. Yeah. cherry mm. I, yeah I think I have to do the Easter Bunny candle first I love strawberry candles librarian today so I forgot to put in my contacts and I have a little bun I feel like the strawberry one didn't make my apartment smell like strawberries but this one my entire apartment smells like honestly cough syrup now I'm thinking about it but it's still cherry anyway um, I'm not showing my face so I don't feel cute, but that right there is a pile of jeans that I'm going to be listing on my Depop. So I'm going to show you guys all that tomorrow. That's a sweatshirt I'm going to be listing. 
that's shoes I'm going to be listing. And I'm going to be doing my winter closet clean out very soon because it's coming to that time of year. So that means that all of this clothes will be taken out and stored away for the summer. I already have sold a bunch of sweaters, so I don't have a lot left. But I'm going to go through all this and sell the stuff that I didn't wear this year at all. Um, go through all these things. I always go through my laundry and I'm selling old bathing suits and stuff. Um, go through all my baby dolls. Just, I just go through everything. But I wanted... Hi, no honey. Oh my god, you're so cute. I want to do like a big clean out and just get rid of a bunch of stuff. Some of these are flare, they're all low rise, some of them are skinny, some of them are skinny ripped. Skinny jeans would be cute with like fur boots or like knee high converse. They can be styled cute, okay? But they give Jennifer's body, like when I see low rise skinny jeans, I think Jennifer check. You know what I mean? I think Victoria Justice. So that's the vibe. Alright, so right now I'm taking try on photos of all the jeans. So I have like a little setup going right here, so... I am selling these. The zipper in the back. They have these pom poms. They're by Wire U. Huge platform. They're heavyweight, but they're easy to walk in. See, so yeah, I'm relisting these. These ones are the cutest. rotting on the couch woke up and I got my lady time so I'm like I'm like half dead right now anyway this is it um, you can get it off Amazon two for 20 bucks basically and it's a muscle rub and I just rub it on my literal uterus and then I rub it on my legs because my legs get really sore and you can just use this in general it doesn't ha it's not like it doesn't have to be for your period just like in general I recommend this it's amazing it has a really s strong like clove scent like it smells like essential oils like it's a definitely very strong scent so beware of that I wanted to vlog today and yesterday but it's just been really rainy so I have like lack of motivation also those jeans yesterday three of them sold like I had five pairs of jeans I listed Three of them sold within an hour. Okay, I'm gonna do a little DVD collection because I just finished organizing under here. And these are all like my girly DVDs. So, this is her. I'm gonna go through all my movies and shows, everything I have, and then I'll show you guys my horror collection too, which is out display. But this is under here, I just finished. So, I have The Breakfast Club. Obviously, I love that movie. This movie is really good. If you like, like, 2010s movies that are, like, comedy, this movie is really good. It's called Adventureland. It has Kristen Stewart in it. It's really good. It kind of falls into the same category as Juno. Like, it's the same niche, I feel. Um, Uptown Girls is one of my favorite movies in the world. It always has been. I literally have memorized the words to that movie. New York Minute with Mary-Kate and Ashley, one of my favorites ever. I have a couple other just like miscellaneous movies mixed in there that are either Bella's or mine. I have Sisterhood of Traveling Pants. I haven't even seen those. I just know Blake Lively's in it. So I was like, all right, going in the collection. This is my favorite movie of all, one of my top five favorite movies ever. And it's called Triple Dog, and I discovered it on Netflix when I was like 11 years old, and they took it off, and I couldn't find it on any platform for years. So I had to buy the DVD, and then I lost my DVD, so I had to like find the movie on, I eventually found it on Tubi, but before that, like, it was impossible to find it. And then I finally, after literally like five, six years of searching, I found DVD in Mercari, so now I can watch it whenever I want, even though it's on Tubi now. It's Mona from PLL in it. Has this girl, which she's in a couple other movies, but she's gorgeous. I love her. Has her. She's also in, um, in The Ring. I, she was in some sort of early 2000s horror movie. And it was, I don't know which one. I think it was The Ring, though. But I'm not 100% sure. Very 2000s, very mystery. There's, like, a mystery murder, death that's, like, the undertone of the movie. But they're also, like, playing a game. And it's, like, oh, so teen girl in the 2000s. It's so good. This movie is, like, top three favorite movies ever. And I literally bother my friends because it's the only movie I ever want to watch. And they're like, okay, again...
Okay, these are all of my horror and like niche movies. My triple dog DVD should actually be over here, so I'm gonna bring that over here. But yeah, any movie with Rose McGowan, Devil in the Flesh, highly recommend. Dead Silence, y'all already know. Jawbreak, Book of Shadows, highly recommend. Texas Chainsaw, the one from the 2000s, highly recommend. Arl Stein's Haunting Hour with Emily Osment. It's like a 2008 like kids themed kind of like Halloween movie, but it's so good. It's so good. House of Wax, top five, one of my favorite movies ever. Paris Hilton's in it. If that's not enough to convince you to watch it, I don't know what will be. I Know Who Killed Me with Lindsay Lohan in it. She plays like a stripper, basically, like lost her memory. It's a very twisted, like mystery movie, but it's very good. This is my little look today. Ripped leggings, moon boots. Are they dirty? I just cleaned them. Sweater, hairdo. I don't feel cute today, but that's alright. I'm very overwhelmed. Basically, I just wanted to show these chocolate bars that I found. They're made by a couple in Texas, and, and these are made with. I ate a whole entire thing. But this was made with organic coconut sugar organic grass-fed milk, organic cocoa butter, like or almond butter, almond sea salt, like all natural ingredients. Yeah, there's no palm oil, no soy, no sugar alcohols, no cane sugar, no refined sugar. And it literally tasted better than Hershey's to me. I feel like Hershey's doesn't even taste good. Like it tastes like plastic. Like it tasted better than regular chocolate. So I highly recommend these. This is what it looks like. Especially if you're trying to eat clean and you have like sweet cravings like me, because for me like curbing like sweet cravings is very difficult and it's hard to get that satisfied feeling just from fruit because you know your palates are brainwashed from the food that you've been eating your whole life and I'm not trying to overwhelm you if you don't eat organic or anything like that but this is just my journey what I'm going through so that really helped me because it was all good ingredients and I'm just very cautious about ingredients and oils and sugars you should there's nothing wrong with wanting to eat organic people try to lot but there's nothing wrong with it to take care of and nourish your body I just realized that this lady can probably hear me talking all the time I don't give a f anyway 
I got these little strawberry towels and this brought me joy. Got my $2 dates. Look at these little straw caps that Bella got on Amazon. Little straw covers for your water. This is, I'm wearing, I have a little Siamese one. So cute. So yeah. She's in the grocery store. I'm, today's not the day for me to go inside a grocery store. So she's going in. She got, she's going to get some salmon and chicken, avocados, bananas. <sighs> I feel like a little spice girl today. Like, anyway. Lizzie, come back. Tart pickle. Cherry picking. A cherry scent that bottles the sweet smell nostalgia. New scents, really good. These two are really Ooh. good. They've been quick alcohol. Okay. I got the Morphe pink powder, brightening pink. And I already put a whole bunch on. I got a free brush, so I already put like a bunch on under my eyes. I think it's really pretty, but I have to see it in like actual lighting. I think it, I like it. It's like a faint baby pink color. I really like it. And then I guess they don't sell Morphe 2 anymore, so I got this ColourPop concealer instead. And then I got Lash Glue. Do you want to show what you got or no? I want to show this stuff. I think the pink goes with my skin tone well, see? I got a powder poof. Powder puff. I love that. I love those powder poofies. Um, I got eyelash curler. $16, didn't you say? Yup. If it doesn't work, I'm returning it. I got a free little brush. You got one too. I love the free brush. Mm -hmm. I got the full sized version of the Tarte Shape Tape Creamy. Mm -hmm. I love that one. It's just really thick, so I can't wear it every day. It can be like cakey day, so I can wear it thinner. My skin's so dry, it just doesn't look cakey. And then I got Fan Fest Mascara. I'm trying it. Um, I have really like ask for suggestions. They'll, they'll help do. you out. They like you. Um, my eyelashes weigh down very easily. Like they don't hold a curl. Like the only mascara I've known to ever hold curl from my eyelashes is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Waterproof. Not even the regular one. The waterproof one. Like because that one's so waxy, it just holds the curl. Um, they said this one might work because they sell a lot of it possibly mean nothing. Um, if any of you have any recommendations, let me know. Sure, there's, they literally are basically downturned. For flat lash, for unfortunate lash girlies, mm -hmm. I guess you could say. Ooh. And the girl was like, oh, well, I have long eyelashes. No, we're not going to so talk. We don't talk about well, That was kind of like backhanded. Condescending. Condescending. Like it hurt my feelings, I'm like... Anyway. Recommendations, please. So I want to show you guys this little set I got. Bella got me this. She came home with it for me because I was having a bad day. She brought me this as a surprise. It's a little like workout set for when I go on my walks in the summer. This is from literally Walmart. They also had a pastel blue. And you guys know I love pastel purple and pastel blue. I love pastels. So... She got me this little outfit. It has a cute little cross back. And it's really flattering and it snatches your waist. So yeah, I on my walks. It's nice and it's a light color so I won't be like sweating. And it's like comfy material. It has the crisscross back. Yeah, you can see like my grand hands right now but that won't be there when I wear these. But yeah. 
So I think I need to go back and get the other colors. This was $12 or $13. So I just added a bunch of stuff to my Depop, and I'm just going to show you guys. Um, it's all like very random stuff. My sister just gave me a big bag of clothes and was like, here, sell this. So this is what she gave me. So first is this beautiful vintage shabby chic coquette cottage, like gorgeous princess slip with like little frillies. This is absolutely beautiful. This is a size large. On the pictures I posted with them, because I do try on pictures, I'm wearing a studded belt and they actually like, look good because the length, the waist is very large, but the length is actually like a fitting length. So if you just wear them with like a studded belt, it gives like that vibe. Like the subway surfer is like vibe, you know what I mean? Because like that's a style for some people where they're like the super oversized pants. The dark wash version of the Jennifer's Body Jeans, LEI, low rise, ultra low rise, Ashley skinny jeans in size one. Dream Girl, Whimsigoth, like lace. Um, it's like a mesh top and it slits in the back. Clutch purse, but honestly, this is adorable and I think I might keep it. But if I don't find a use for it, I'll sell it. But this is so cute. I have large, like, Barbie pink snow skirt. Like, it's literally a snow skirt. It's like a waterproof kind of material. This is cute. Like, if this fit me, I would keep it for myself. It's just like a pink mini skirt, size large. Coconut Girl Summer Vintage little tube top. And, you know, clothes in the 2000s fit so good compared to now. Like, this has, like, a little built-in bra, but it's not, like, obnoxious. It fits very cute. I like it a lot. I'm not going to sell it yet because I'm going to fix it. It's a corset, but it doesn't have strings. So I'm going to get like a beautiful black like ribbon for it. But it's this vintage Victoria's Secret cream like corset. It's it's absolutely beautiful. It's ribbed. Like the shape, it's beautiful. So I'm going to wait to list this because I have to get the ribbon and stuff. But that will be listed. Just like some baggy mom jeans. Low key, these are cute. Like these with some fishnets and bands would have extremely hard in 2019. Eagle flare jeans. These give Bella Swan. They're very nicely fit. They're a size 10 vintage mud bathing suit, but low key, like, I'm keeping this. But if I do list it, you'll see it on there.